Hey, thanks for tuning in to Channel D6 Spanky. Today we're going to do an overview for my new project, the 1954 Chevy truck. It's so pretty. Um, anyway, so we're doing a new thing with the mic. Uh, oh, the audio is terrible. It's a short bed. That's what I'm saying there. And uh, anyway, so let's hope this goes well. I have to pay it, try and juggle some balls here. I'm not good at juggling. All right, what it says here on the bottom of this plate, it's got a serial number. They didn't have VINs in 1954. And so what it says on the bottom where I'm touching there says 554K020814. The 5 means it's a 3100 series 3100. The 54 is the year. Uh, K means it was manufactured in Kansas City. And then the numbers are the number off the production line. In this case, the number one car off would have been 1001 and so this truck number off the production line was 19,813 it does not have a January birthday I imagine um, anyway I didn't know I had to research all that uh, I had no idea and I didn't know that the owner knew any of that which really he only knew the year All right, <coughs> let's go around the front. You see that beautiful dent? Oh yes, and there's chrome missing, which I can, which can be replaced. I found it, and uh, it says on the side that's a 3100, and that down there says that it was um, used in Pocatello, Idaho, and the gross weight is 6,000 pounds. Um, you see there's a dent on the nose of the grill. It's actually pretty deep. You can't really tell from here, but that dent in the hood is amazing. So under the T, there is a latch to release the hood. And then <coughs> to f open the hood, the latch is right there in the middle underneath the nose. Real easy to open. It's got a nice springs to hold it open so there's no sticks in your way. And that's what I'm about to point out here are the springs. Yep right there all right so uh, the truck from the firewall you can tell the truck was red and um, it's full of cobwebs is the main point <laughs> so many spiders and there's a big black widow problem at the time that this was filmed so I was not eager to put my hand in um, all the spark plugs were removed. All the spark plug wires were numbered before they were pulled out. And then I've been putting PV blaster into the cylinders. And I need, I was told also to put some transmission fluid. There's my belly. I was very pregnant when we filmed this. Um, <coughs> and it was hard for me to reach over those really wide fenders. Um, anyway, that right there I'm pointing to is the fuel filter and it's got a glass bowl and a there's a paper filter that goes on the inside which I've just ordered so and then the fuel line goes back to where where's the fuel tank in this truck well I'll point to the cap it's right here here's the cap <laughs> and so it's behind the fr the front seat um, and there'll be video about all that later uh, this is the alternator slash generator here amongst all the many many spider webs and then over here is the starter um, yeah I'm glad I'm pointing everything out it makes it easier um, just a quick look at the tires there's six lug someone means told me that means it's a three-quarter ton truck and honestly I don't know what that means but <laughs> I, I just I just don't know nor do I really care but <laughs> um, that's just you know uh, something I'll worry about later um, anyway I the patina on this truck's amazing and I'm sorry I keep showing my shadow but um, this is the uh, I'm showing you the exhaust manifold here um, some fuses all the wires some of the wiring I think might need to be replaced um, There's a whole bunch of linkage underneath for all the pedals, which is kind of fun to see, not have hidden. Uh, there's the steering column. 
now I'm pointing out the exhaust manifold and then the air filter and that's the carburetor. It's a single barrel Rochester carburetor, original to the truck. Um, there's no glass in the door windows. Uh, I do have the glass. Actually, I took it back over my neighbors so it wouldn't get broken because I have little ones. Um, I think I have most of the hardware for the windows and doors and the glass was hiding and I know there's somewhere <coughs> excuse me and oh yeah the pillar for the vent window is missing but I think I have all that in a box somewhere so um, obviously the windshield will need to be replaced um, and so, so that's the only glass we have to worry about I have no idea on price on that. I haven't even looked. They put some putty in the window to keep it from leaking inside. And um, rear window is pretty good. There's a little chip on the other side that you can't see here. Uh, it just looks so cool. I just want to drive around in it now. Anyway, so this is going to be a great video for you guys to share with your friends to let them know what's going to be going on. Uh, if you guys have any experience with restoration projects, please leave them in the comments in the comment section and let me know what's going on um, that's the oil filter there that little tank um, and I'm really really excited to get going on this This has been sitting in my driveway for about a year and <laughs> more than a year and yeah we've I've got some videos recorded we've got to sit and edit um, and this is this is all gonna be good um, we I uh, just share the crap out of it because we need to get s some interest here <laughs> and uh, comment uh, below click like subscribe um, you can follow me I have a Facebook page now channel d6 spanky and you can follow me on Google Plus and Twitter at d6 spanky um, and yeah thanks so much guys Again, I say thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And then, as always, you can follow me on Twitter and Google Plus at D6 Spanky. And on Facebook, facebook.com backslash channel D6 Spanky.